What's up, FishTankTV.com and YouTube? Got me some koi food, um, and I got me an angel. Now, did my angels die? No. This guy's not going in with my angels right now. I'm praying to God it's a girl. It's too little to sex right now, but uh, I'm, I'm hoping it's a girl because I've got two males, and if this is another, if this is another male, I have to um, order two female angels that are sure to be females. So, uh, he's pretty, he's gold, and he's not as gold as he should be because he's stressing right now in the bag. So, uh, we're going to go put him over here in the 10 gallon. Now, I know somebody's going to say these surfaces might nip at him. Uh, I don't think they will, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. If they start nipping at him, I'll take him out and put him in the 29 gallon. He'll be fine in there. Now, I just don't want to put him in the 29 gallon because, eh, I don't feel like doing that. And there he is right there. He'll chill in here for a while. You can see my surfaces looking good. There's that uh, rare Louis gets an awesome plant. So uh, we're going to get him acclimated in here. Might as well show you guys the ballast sharks because I haven't showed you the ballast sharks yet, I don't think. Um, there, there they are. The rainbows are doing good. They're hungry. I just turned on the lights. You see the bow's mine. He really colored up since the first time I got him. Um, the female bow's mine. The male praycox. They're doing all fine. And like I said, uh, the female praycox, she died less than 24 hours. And that's... The pet store didn't, they, they didn't have good luck with the rainbows either, so, whatever. So, uh, my beta, they're all hungry, I'm about to feed them. They're doing good. Um, this is the tank now. I'm not really worried about what it looks like, what it looks like because everything's about to get transferred to a 125. I think you're here to the 29 gallon. Might as well. Oh, y'all haven't seen this in a while either. Alright, so, well, you see that it actually showed up on camera for like a split second, how um, clean it was. But, uh... They're hungry too. I just turned their lights on too. You see, my boys are getting big. Um, this is my girl. This is my male. This is the mated pair. Um, they just spawned, but not really much luck with the spawn that time. This is my ram. He's getting big too. And uh, I'm gonna get some more rams in the 125. Everybody keeps asking me what kind of cichlids am I gonna get in the 125. Um, mostly rams and sick um, angels. M maybe discus, but I don't know. They like warm temperatures and stuff, and you know. Uh, whatever, but uh, there's my other boy. That's why I'm get. That's why I got this angel for him. I'm hoping it's a girl, and he sp mates. He spawns off of that one because that gold one will mix with this white blushing will look really nice. Um, <clears throat> I may get, be able to get some angels that look like my old pair I had until I left the heater off and killed them by accident. So this tank's doing good. Um, it looks really green, but uh, there's an algae on the glass and stuff. I haven't been maintaining it because I said <clears throat> getting the 125. So what's the point, right? So. Uh, not really worried about what this tank looks like, but uh, it's not that green in real life. It's it's a lot cleaner than it really looks, and they're hungry. So uh, I'm gonna give them food. But I gotta show you something right now, though. This is a kind of ripoff. I didn't get the other, the big bottle because I only could get this today. Shit. Oh. I keep telling Dustin to get the stuff, and uh, he he doesn't get it because he's he's trying not to feed his um, goldfish, and I understand that because I mean he's got an algae problem. The more food he puts in there, the uh, more algae he's gonna get. He wants the goldfish to eat the uh, algae. But uh, anybody that has goldfish or ponds or koi or whatever, I recommend this stuff. Um, this is like the this is the new life spectrum of koi food. This is, um, this is probably better than New Life Spectrum. No lie. Um, if not, it's, it's, it's as good if not better. And it's got a little uh, moisture package so no moisture, any moisture that gets in there gets absorbed. doesn't ruin the food. This is a really, this is summer stable. They've got it for every season. So uh, I'm kind of showing off my two favorite food brands and uh, New Life Spectrum. The best for your tropical aquariums and Legacy um, Microlift is the is is the shit. You need to get this stuff if you got koi ponds or goldfish. Trust me on it. Goodness sakes, I didn't take this plant out. Um, this is one of my new plants I got. The rest are in the uh, in outside in 20 gallon long high. But um, this is a uh, Cynagon SP Bellum right here. This plant got so much growth on it. Let's see if I come around here, the lights a little better. Yeah, you see. When I got it, it was this big, and it's been a couple days, and now I've got that much growth. That's insane. Get some dirt. 
Alright, I gotta take the picture of where I thought um the little last segment of this video uploaded, but it didn't, so I've gotta take another video. So there he is. He's doing good in here, and yes, he's he's that yellow. That's not the camera. He's that yellow. There's a serpe. He, he's doing good in here. When he first got in here, uh, he was very happy. I can tell he likes his tank a lot better than the one he was in, and I don't blame him. If I had to pick where to live, the tank he was in or this tank, I pick this one. And uh, he's doing good. He's hiding and stuff. I mean, he's just gotten in here. But when I first put him in here, he was uh, swimming all around and stuff. He was happy, so he's good. Tank's doing good. And uh, that's what's up, guys. And uh, there's a surpaste back there. I fed him a minute ago when I first put him in. And uh, here's a little suggestion. When you first put your fish in and stuff, um, before you put the fish in, feed the other fish so the aggression doesn't get as high and uh, they won't pick on the new fish as much. And uh, yeah, feed the fish again after you put the new fish in. If the fish starts eating, it's a healthy fish, very healthy. So that's what's up, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Later.